Hi there, it's Leanne from Nalao Home Skills. Welcome to my channel. Um, if you're a returning um, subscriber or viewer, um, welcome back. If you're new, welcome to my channel. Please like, subscribe and comment if that's what you want to do. I will have a giveaway today. Um, it was a haul that I had that um, they doubled up on, so that's okay. just means I get to share my love with you guys. Um, I have some finishes, so yay, finishes. I um, Last week I had I was in a finishing mood and that finishing vibe just kept going. So I finished off three more. <sighs> Today is the 11th of August. It's cold, it's wet. I apologize if you hear the rain come. Um, I hope everyone's staying safe wherever you are, that you're not affected by the fires that are going on because that's just terrible. Oh my goodness. Um, so yes, I hope everyone is safe and well and getting lots of stitching done. Um, so I will start with my finishes. My first one was my squirrel. My son records it's a rat. Um, some people think squirrels are light rats, including my husband. So <laughs> when I said um, my little one thought it was a rat, he was like, mm-hmm, what is it supposed to mean? I'm like, mm, gee, thanks. Um, he came out of the counted cross-stitch countryside BM DMC. Designer was Karen George. So, yeah, he was just there. Um, this did come out in 2000, so you might have to shop around if you are looking for that pattern. And there are... As you can see, there's a fox, the riverside, the house, another bridge. I love the ducks in that one and the birds. So there are, there's also a cow and a pig or a calf and a pig or, yeah. So there's a few patterns. It's like, yay! I've been doing him forever um, or it felt like it. Um, so, so, yes, he's done. Sorry. Oh. My other two finishes, I'll show them at the same time, March and May. These are from Hayley at Stitching Cabin. Um, she's got her own web, um, website that you can buy from. These are actually free, um, at least they're free this year as part of her mini calendar um, series. She does have a Southern Hemisphere and a Northern Hemisphere version. Um, I am doing both versions and she's recently come out with all of the Southern Hemisphere as one big um, piece. So that's nice. She is on YouTube and she is on Instagram as well. Um, so I'll link her down below. But yeah, nice and cute. Very easy for beginner um, people because there's, especially this one, hardly any backstitching nice colors they've only got a couple of um colors in them so not a lot of changing so yeah they're my finishes i was like yay finishing um i finished the squirrel and one of the calendars on the 7th and the other calendar on the 9th of august i just can't remember which one was which it is in my notes um but yes now i did some haul so I've bought some Weeks Dye Works. I needed, oh my goodness, I just dropped it. Um, I needed Weeks for a pattern um, and I'd been putting it off, putting it off, mainly because it's so hard to get here in Perth, WA. So I sent over from Queensland. I will link the company below because they were amazing. Their company, like I said, I Hang on, I will pause. I will find them and let you know. Back, um, so the company was All Threads Embroidery. Here's their details. I will put it down below. They've got 
specialty flosses. They've got some kits. They've got um, your materials to um, stitch on. They've given cute little bookmark um, as part of the packaging. So my order went missing. Not their fault. It was post office fault. It was going around the countryside and I was getting worried because I'm like, mm, it should be here by now. But I reached out to them and they're like, hey, we'll get on to it. And then they were checking back every couple of days to keep me posted. And so, yeah, company is beautiful. If you have problems, reach out and they're lovely. Yeah, so that was my spill. So, yes, I got three weeks. This one is Goldenrod. I don't know if, oh yeah, you can sort of see the variegation. Um, just slight variation in that yellow. Uh, this beautiful green one, which is called guacamole. You can see the variation, variegation more in that one. And my last one was Havana. So browns. Um, I don't think that's picking up the variation. I actually might use this for another pattern as well. Um, I'll get to that as we're going. So, yes, I reached out for my first lot of Weeks Dye Works and so far they've been great. I've also had um, some supply come in. So my first one, sorry about the crinkleness. Um, these two are both from Country Threads which is um, Fiona Jude, um, she charts them up or her business charts them up from um, different artworks. Now this is um, a famous Australian artist, Frederick McCubbin. I'm doing another one of his pieces. But I picked up this. That ring's showing because of the plastic. Nice, easy stitch. Well, from what I've found so far they've been easy stitches um i haven't started this one as you can see so yeah i picked that one up i picked up the off yeah i'm gonna say that wrong osprey um beautiful predator bird um i love this company honestly i have so many of her charts and so many different sizes of charts just yeah um my horseman that comes up at my beginning is one of her charts so um like i said i've loved her charts for years they're very australian they're very um yeah they're just yeah um, I got these through Fox Collection, which is an online store here in WA, oh, in Australia. So, next one I got, Lady in Blue. Um, it's Cross Stitch Collectibles, a woman in blue dress. Um, doesn't give me who did it. But this one will, is 300 by 375 stitches, so she will be a big one. Now she, so I ordered a random pattern pack for five patterns. That was one. This was the second one, which honestly, I haven't decided if I like or not, but that's okay. There's no reason why not to try something new it's called morning awakening again by cross stitch collectibles this one's 100 by 270 stitches so not too bad and then here in those five packs is where it went interesting Monet's bridge um, i think that's what it's called yeah Bridge in Monet's garden. I have this pattern. Or at least I'm pretty sure I have this pattern. This one I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure I've picked this one up already. Again, by the Cross Stitch Collectibles. Yes. So I've got to double check that one. 
Here's one. Very cute. Tree of life. I definitely have. So this is going to be a giveaway. Um, not today's giveaway, but this is going to be a giveaway. And my Stony Creek's Protected Babies, which I have been working on. I'm working on the wolf at the moment. Um, so I definitely have this one. So this is going to be my giveaway today. Um, for the giveaway, please do not say giveaway or write giveaway at all. Um, please be over 18 so that I can send it to you. Please subscribe and like if you can. Um, I would prefer it. I'm not going to chase you up because some people are private, but please. And write the comment protected um, as in your comments and you'll go in the drawer. I will give this two weeks and then out of the two weeks, today is the 11th of August so by the time I actually load it it might be the 12th of August so we'll give two weeks from the 12th of August and I'll do a draw from those comments um there are 13 of the little animals and yeah the baby sampler so you can either do it as an afghan um like they're showing or I'm doing each individual one so nice easy most of them are either anchor or damn sea whichever you prefer um with a few weeks dialects in fact they're the three that I just showed you um so of which then you can change they do give you an option of dmc or anchor if you'd prefer so that's my giveaway like I said please um, be 18, write protected um, in the comments, like and subscribe. I'm okay with shipping around the world. It might take you a while because of how shipping is, but I am quite happy to ship around the world with that one. Yeah, um, my last one, I have got Mirabilia, but this is a Mirabilia. Isn't she beautiful? Um, her name is Lavender Mist. She will be. I um, wonder if it tells me. Mm, nope, not going to tell me that I mentioned. But I got a kit to go with it just to make things easier. I ordered both um, this kit makeup and the pattern through Fox Collections. So I've got all the one chronic, oh, chronic, all the beads and all the flosses, plus this beautiful, I'm pretty sure it's lavender. Um, it will tell me. Um, 32 count French country linen. Um, doesn't actually tell me the color of it was um, but yes I'm not opening this up until I start honestly otherwise I will lose all the pieces um, so that those colors look amazing you can see against the purple how it will come up so I do look forward to starting this. It will be a big project. I am going to wait until one of my frames is free, honestly, because of the beads. I don't want to be using a hoop. Um, so, yes, I do look forward to doing a Mirabilia. Is that? I know love, people love Mirabilias and... I love how those ladies look and they're amazing and they are big and I honestly a little bit overwhelming but that's okay um so yeah so now I'm getting into I just want to tell you who I've watched in this week um there were a couple of others and I will link them below but the lovely Lisa from Lost in Stitches, she's 
she's just lovely you just want to hang out with her all the time um laura from stitching by the shore um she talks about she's doing some trading cards if you're getting quick um or well her theme for the trading cards is autumn um and you send them to her and then she's going to distribute them around including um around the world it will take us longer for around the world but um i love she does different things <laughs> I just love Laura, but that's okay. Um, I was watching Cam from Cam the Stitcher, Alaria. She's been away for a couple of months, so it was like, yay, she's back. Um, I remember one's called Sarah. I'm sorry, I can't remember your friend's name. I should know this, um, but from Stitchy Friends. So they were fun where they're chatting together and they've got different styles, but some of them are the same style and they're different showing different experiences or where they're at with different patterns so love that you've got two different versions on the same um and i've only just started getting into those uh, those two so um i watch sarah from stitching mummy again she is amazing i love all her work i love that she will show you how to do things she's got her etsy shop I love her temperature patterns. I could never do one, honestly, the way I work, but they are just wows. Um, Holly from the Cross Stitch Addict. Honestly, aren't we all Cross Stitch Addicts? I know I am. Um, I had my stepson over and he goes, man, they're just like you. They've got so many projects. I'm like, I watch these ladies because it shows that I'm not the only one. I've got lots of patterns. And he goes, you'd get so much more done if you only did one. I'm like, I'd get bored of it. And honestly, there are so many patterns. You just want to touch them all. Um, and then Angie slowly crafts and she's lovely. And she's got some amazing, amazing patterns. And yeah, just, so that's why I've been watching. There's been a few. Um, so yeah, that was fun. On to what I've actually been stitching. Um, so yes, <coughs> still getting over the cold that I had last week, but I'm not as bad as I was. So, um, I did start with the three that I finished. Um, like I said, I was in that finishing mood and I'm like, let's get those three closest. Um, as part of my rotation for the week and then go from there um so yes i was like okay finish my next one sorry for in the pile behind me but my desk is all over the place today so my next one heaven and earth designs it's a ching chow quick at least that's how i pronounce it it's probably terribly wrong the quick quick stitch blue butterfly um for a hade this is tidy um it's 100 stitches by 150 stitches by 108 so this would be like a normal pattern except it is very confetti heavy um that's where i'm at you can sort of start seeing a flower come through you can see my stitches um, where I've carried behind, but it's okay. Um, I actually have completed my first, my 10 by 10 square up the top. So how I like to work, especially on my full coverages, is start on my 10 by 10 square, um, pick a symbol in it and just follow where that um, thread takes me. And then I usually go down, do that 10 by 10 square and then the one up. And it sort of works on an angle, but I'm not left with tiny little holes. Like, yes, I've got tiny little bits down here where, because that's where the symbol sent me, but it works for me. Um, yes. Um, because it is confetti heavy, it is taking me longer to, 
um, go through it, but that's okay. Um, there are lots of different colour changes, but I'm liking it so far, so um, we'll keep going with that one. My next one was another Hade. It's actually another Ching Cha Quicks. Um, this was a freebie for a long time. And it's called Harmony. Um, he is a bit bigger than the last one. Um, 300 by 520, so like I said, a bit bigger. Oh, I've been working in. So I was doing more of this blue and cream coming down. Um, I am doing these. They've all been 14 count Ada, two over one using called four colours. Um, no, my, f sorry, 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 sorry. Let's see which one it was. This one. No, not that one. This one. I changed one of the colours. So in the wings of the butterflies, it asks for white. Um, I was stitching, I'm stitching all these so far on the 14 count um, white, just so they're uniform, so that um, as I mix and match or however I display them, they'll be uniform. So instead of the white, I actually used the E5200, not the B, the E, so that affects look. Um, so in real life, you can sort of see a sparkle. I don't think you're getting it on the camera, but that was a colour change I did do. Usually, um, I keep it fairly whatever they're called for. Sometimes, sometimes you just change because you like the look or how it feels or, um, so yes, that was a change. Um, my next one is another Hade. This is a NASA photo and it's a super sized Veil Nebula Max Colors. Um, it looks amazing in color, that photo. I wish my camera would do colors like that. It's just, um, so I didn't get as much done this week as I have in previous weeks. And oh, let's move that. My gritting's getting in the way. But you can start seeing some of the stars or the flex of stars coming through. So this one is a 22 count Ada. Well, I think it's Ada anyway. I believe it was Ada. Um, it's beautiful and soft, whatever. Um, and I'm doing three over one tenths stitch um, which is like tapestry stitching so it's just that um that one leg of the cross um I'm liking the coverage of three over one um I didn't like two over one full cross I didn't like one over one full cross um other patterns I do one over one full cross but not um you're not this one so yeah, the tent stitch I'm enjoying so far for that one. Not a huge tent stitch all the time, honestly. Um, sometimes some of the patterns call for it for different shading and grading and yep, totally get that as a full coverage. On a, yeah, um, I know it's a lot quicker, especially for this one that's going to take me about 10 years to finish since it is 999 stitches wide by 666 stitches. Um, but guess what? I've actually got to, this is a page, the edge of the page, and this has, I think the edge of the page is there. So I've actually gone into the edge. I don't like finishing so I'm sort of zigzagging um so the edge ones are actually on the next page and I came down further so just so I'm not getting the lines that you can get sometimes when you block it block it I'm um zigzagging blocking if that makes sense just to <coughs> sorry break up those lines um where did I put my book 
I, because I know I completed 600 stitches in that this week. Um, like I said, not as much as I have done. I really should be doing at least a thousand a week to get the progress. Um, otherwise I'm going to be really forever um, doing it. But yes, my next one, Urban Princess by DMC. It's counter cross stitch. Um, they do, I think there's like 10 different um, patterns in the series. It comes in a kit with 14 count Ada. Um, so I'm using the Ada. I'm using all the floss at the moment. However, I want to change her hair. Um, this is for my niece. She is six. She's just got into horse riding. She thinks this is her. So I said to her on the weekend, would you like me to change the hair so it's more like yours? Yes, please. Um, she's got, yeah, probably similar colouring to my hair, other than the silver bits because she's six and not old. Um, so I pulled out some flosses. So these were just some DMCs that I had in my stash. And I was thinking of using those five to get some variegation. Variation. However, now that I pulled this one out with the variation, I might use this instead with the dark one for the dark bits through just for the shading. I'm not doing it yet, so I either do a mix of those different colours or mix of, I'll put this one in just to change it and make it her. And like I said, she's six. Um, she's so happy that her auntie's stitching it for her. I've just got her mum back into cross stitching because um, she hadn't done it since her elder two children were babies. And I want to say one's 18 and one's 20, something like that. That's where I'm at. So pants, the shirt's almost finished. Come down the riding crop. This is a hat. Just started some of the border. Um, go, I'm going wherever I feel, honestly, just to change it up so that um, I sort of want a colour complete, but I also want the variety and not be stuck with just doing the border at the end because we all know or at least a lot of us know when you get to that point it's like I'm so close but do I have to finish it do I have to do that um so this way where I I do and sometimes I'll do a really big block of color on something because then I know I can get a lot of stitching um done and actually get a big piece um in a short amount of time so you're seeing that progress and then I'll jump to more of a confetti um, area just so you get that balance and again you're not stuck with all the confetti at the end but you um yeah so I'm getting there I I don't count how much I actually do unless I'm counting like I said the 10 by 10 squares on my um full coverages because that's how I I know what I'm up to sorry um so yes I will however count color complete my smaller projects sometimes the next one oh well, yesterday's um Faye Whitaker it's a four pack I'm doing this one that's what I've been working on it is so close to be finished. Um, I think I've got some back stitch to do. And I've got two more rows down the bottom of this brownie colour and then come up 
finish her dress and a bit of water and that but that's yes I've got lines um that's just where I this is why I don't like blocking anymore um because you can see blocks and <laughs> yeah so um that's why I don't like doing that but was a free you know how you get the free cardy things with your magazine sometimes that's where I got this from I just can't remember which magazine I got it from um but it was a UK magazine so um but Faye Whitaker's done a lot of these style bigger smaller um so yes um it's almost finished so maybe maybe if I make that if I make that one of my concentration pieces for next week. Oh, I'm terrible with plans, honestly. I'm terrible with plans. Now, this next one you have not seen before. <coughs> I have had it in my stash for a long time and I've started stitching it ages and ages ago. But I think I just got, you know how you get over something you've done so well, so you just put it, behind and then I decided to pull it out again. It is a Miriam from a Margelin Baston collection. Um Laurent I think that's Lenart Lenart um company. Um I've probably pronounced that wrong and it's the Robin. Very cute. Um not very big 14 by 19 centimeters. Um with DMC threads. What else can I say? It was a kit. All the threads were kitted up for me. I'm like, where have I put it? That's where it's sitting. It's not a huge piece. Um, it's a lot of these flowers, and this is where the robin starts. So the robin will be in here. Now, one problem with it, with this kit, is. <coughs> So sorry. Um, very close to the edge, like that's the bottom of the piece, and that's where the material is. So I've got to be very careful with it. Um, and uh, and you're getting close to the edge of the pattern here. Um, so like I said, it, it's not a big pattern, um, but I'm thinking it's quite effective so far, honestly. Um, some of it's two over one, some of it's one over one. I believe the Ada is 14 count. Um, mm, yes, it doesn't really tell me um, other than it's 100% cotton. So I think it's 14 count. It looks like a 14 count. So <coughs> dry throat. I'm so sorry. Um, like I said, getting over this cold. Oh, flu season and winter and and kids going to primary school in the younger years. So they get sick, they get sick, they get sick, they get sick, I get sick. Um, oh, I love my children. I, I Actually, I do. I love my children. I wouldn't change them for the world. It's just, if you've been a mum with children going to daycare or kindergarten or early primary school years. Oh, they just seem to pick up. And I know that's their immune system and they're supposed to do that. Yes, yes. Um, so, yes, very cute. Um, I might, I'm tossing up to make that one of my focus pieces too, honestly, because I am so close. Well, I'm more than 50% the way through, I think. So, yes, we will see. The next one, I'm not actually sure what I've put. Oh, yes, I am. Next one is my teacher's gift one. Um, so, other flowers done. If you've seen my stuff before 
I've been working in the rabbit. Um, all the white's done. I just did a little bit of white for the butterfly coming in. Now the eyes. I'm not 100% sold on the eyes at the moment. I've put seed beads in um, because I am terrible at French knots. I, I've been stitching since I was about nine. Um, so many years, a few decades, um, or yes, over a couple of decades. French knots, honestly, some people, amazing. I ask my, I tell my, my mother that, um, I can't do French knots. So she goes, but they're so easy. And I'm like, yes, I know, mum. You embroider. You do them all the time. I cross stitch. I do them. I don't like them. And that's okay. Um, so at the moment I'm just doing some beads, but like I said, I'm not 100% sold on those um, white beads at the moment. Looking at it there, um, once I put the back stitching in, I think they might, they'll work. I think it's just that close and me knowing that it's not the way it's supposed to be. Um, sorry. The little rabbit and butterfly is out of this spring cuties. Um, that's this guy here. Um, the pattern does actually finish with the whole butterfly. It's just cut off and I can't show you because that would be the pattern. And I, yeah, I don't want to do this. So these four are by Adam Prescott. Um, again, came with a UK magazine. Can't remember the magazine. Um, done it a long time ago. I will link what this pattern was down the bottom because I sunny 70s and it was in a magazine. I can't remember. So if I remember, I'll link it down below. So yeah, doing the rabbit. My son, my six-year-old, this is a present for his teacher, wants a sun, sky and grass and more bugs. Um, he says more flowers, but I'm not sure how I do more flowers. So we will we'll just, I love that he's not scared to change patterns. I love that he thinks that it's just easy to go do this and do this and this is what I want and this mummy you have to do it love it love it um my eight-year-old has started trying to cross stitch himself and he is following a pattern um he's more aware of size wise as well so when he chose a present for his teacher his present was about 10 by 10. I did it in a couple of weeks I started this admittedly on and off um and i do all my other projects i started this in about february march um so and i think i've sort of gone off it but not gone off it because i'm ha i'm at that stage of changing and how i want to set it out and it, it's actually quite a big thing for your head to work out all these things so um it's sort of a focus piece, but I'm sort of, yes. I've got till the end of the year. Um, so honestly, I want it, if I can finish it by end of September, October. Yeah, definitely by the end of October, I'll be happy. Um, that way it gives me another month and a bit to, yeah, about six weeks, give or take, um, to get it done by the end of the school year for him. My next one is in the cross stitch needlework. Um, this is November 2013. This beautiful farm piece <coughs> designed by Barbara Sestock. Um, the son that is wanting this one for his teacher believes that this is for him so he was all excited that I got it out again because beginning of the year this was my focus piece and 
I just had to change it to something else. I was doing this darker colour in here. Um, so, yeah, this is wheel for the wheelbarrow. I was doing some of the bucket of the wheelbarrow. These are apples in here. Um, so, yeah. It'll be up here by the time I finish. So, still a long way to go. Um, like I said, it was my focus piece and I've, I should focus more on it yeah yeah a lovely piece and I think it is beautiful when it's done but like I said I'm only really I've got that bit solid and I did that darker bit in there but yeah um my son loves it because the chickens and he's he tells me at six he's going to be a farmer love it i love he's got a plan and he knows what he wants and yes i also worked on my beautiful touch of gold um this is by basilla heritage oh heirloom collection um i'm gonna ruin her name bent shalik is the um who did the artwork you can get this piece on heaven and earth designs it is a lot bigger than the piece that i'm doing um this one is <sighs> it's not going to tell me um so complete it would be 34.3 centimeters by 40.6 centimeters or if you're in inches 13 and a half inches by 16 inches um it was originally on um a 28 count mushroom was what it came with with all the cottons being a full coverage i've gone i am going with my um gridded 14 count because that's what it works out to be and i've got some more of the green in in here um it's actually quite easy to go through. You, your cotton lengths are fairly long, or I like them long, um, but it's sort of blocky without being blocky, if that makes sense. Yeah, there's a little bit of confetti here, but this has been fairly follow the pattern through. Um, so it's been really easy. There are some blended threads so one of one color and one of another color <coughs> to get the shadings um how they want it so some of it's one over one like i said some of it's blended some of it's two over one um so far it's not been too bad um the chart was a big chart and i have photocopied to make myself a working copy um which has made it it's so much easier then i can just shade off where i've been um to keep going paper charts um like i said i didn't want to mark up my original because then you ruined your original this way if i ruin my um working copy i haven't ruined the whole pattern um yeah nice so far like i said um and then my last one is on my double up <laughs> my protected babies um yeah the wolf guy little wolf there um so stony creek uh 508 is the book number um this came out in 2016 obviously if i or oh, was given another pattern it's still available that's where i'm at so i've actually had quite a bit of progress on this one this week i have finished the border all the way around that's where the weeks or two of the weeks um colors have come through i've started the moon so that's one edge i think and it comes around so um these are fireflies i believe the tail and hind leg of the wolf so <coughs> 
he is coming through he did become my focus piece because he's really only what is that 90 stitches by 90 stitches I think give or take um yeah I think that's about what he is um he's not fully full coverage um I'm doing it in the white counted um 14 count count uh, like the easy grid so that it they can all be uniform I plan on doing each 13 animals like I said I started with the wolf um, because that's what um, one of the boys chose and he thought that he thinks it's a dog not a wolf I'm fine with him thinking it's a puppy that's up to him the only one I'm not sure about because of them being babies is the lion because that is not a baby lion that is they don't have the aim as babies. Um, yeah, like I said, they're all cute. It's got the baby sampler too. We'll see. That's not a priority, the baby sampler to do. Um, and like I said, being on 14 count, that's the size of it. So they're not huge. They're quite um, a decent size to frame up. Um, that I could, yeah, mix and match in the rooms and split between which of my children want which animal. Um, <coughs> one of my boys prefers farms and, but like, like I said, likes the wolf. Um, one is more into trains. I did him a beautiful, the train dot painting that comes up on my whether it's the beginning or the end credits. Um, I did a car earlier in the year, which I'm thinking of going into his room. That'll go into our games room where I've got a lot of memorabilia of racing cars. So, um, but he's also got a peacock in his room. So he's a, if he likes it, he wants it up. Um, and he shares with my eldest stepson um who's 28 they actually shared a room for the last couple of days because he came and visited which is awesome he lives i want to say about 1200 kilometers away um in the middle of the state in the middle of nowhere um works on a station so he came and visited which has been awesome absolutely great to see him like i said he goes why don't you do one pattern at a time and i'm like no um so yeah between their room we'll it's probably going to be more machines honestly in their room but that's okay and then my stepdaughter slash niece's room um is more girly stuff so I've got lots of stuff to go in their room um the horse rider will go to my niece's house um but yeah no she's got a room because she stays over quite often I love having her over and that's all I've stitched I think I have actually got some progress like I said hey three finishes so that's <coughs> always been fun um if there's any more um we'll see if i've got finishes for the next week um hopefully i've filmed next week again whether it's on the friday like it is today or earlier in the week i don't know probably not the friday honestly um yeah weather's been a bit average um but that's winter for you and yeah, I can't, I don't know if you can hear the scratchy where the wind's blowing on the top of the shed and moving the branches on. Yes. Um, yeah, and like I said, that giveaway, um, right the way protected. <coughs> I'll do a reminder next week. Um, just so that, yeah. 
and hope to see you next time. Thank you for watching. It's Leanne from Nalel Home Skills. Please like, subscribe, comment, and everyone, please stay safe. That sounded terrible. Please stay safe. Um, I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks again.